Welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Leslie Weidenbenner. I'm here at the Indiana State House with Representative Sue Arrington. She's a Democrat from Muncie. Welcome to the show. Thank you, glad to be here. So you are actually a former state senator who switched over and now you're a House member. Yes. What's the difference? Well, that's a question that everybody asks me. And I guess um, there, is, there are a lot of things that are in common. But I'd say one of the uh, major things that I've noticed is there's a lot more humor expressed <laughs> in the house, on the floor of the house. Well, a little more casual. I think it is, yes. I know a big issue that's important to you is the environment. You're on the Environmental Committee and recycling. Tell us why that's such a key issue for you. Well, I've, I've been an, interested in the environment for a long time. Um, recycling, though, is an area where green meets green in terms of the environment and jobs. And it's especially of interest to us in Muncie because we're home to uh, much of the glass industry for a long time, with the, beginning with the gas boom when uh, Ball Corporation came and everybody had their ball jars that they were canning with. Well, Ball has, is no longer in Muncie, but the company, but we're still manufacturing glass through Viralia. And uh, one of the things I've learned about glass manufacturing is that it's a major user of recycled glass because glass is endlessly recyclable and it's less expensive than starting from scratch. Plus, because you're using something that's already been manufactured once, there is less energy consumption and less pollution from it. So that's one area that I'm interested in. Because, why, one reason I'm interested in this. Um, it's also interesting that um, the aluminum can industry, which Alcoa is in southern Indiana, and there's a new uh, plastics recycling company over in Richmond are all interested in recycling. And uh, so they're beginning to get together and talk about what can Indiana do to do more recycling. And of course, the environmental groups have always been interested in this. Are there specific things you think the state could do to boot bolster the recycling industry in Indiana? Yes, um, there are things that other states are doing now. Uh, some do more with, um, you know, recycling at the curb than Indiana does. But there are 10 states that do bottle bills where you return the deposits. And uh, so one of the things, we, there's no legislation this year dealing with this, but so that makes it an opportunity to do some educational work. And the two uh, House and Senate environmental committees are planning to have a joint hearing next month on recycling, including what, what are other states doing, how can we step up uh, recycling here, and who knows, maybe next year we'll have a bill to introduce. Is this something that might be ripe for a summer study committee? I think it is. So we have a hearing now and then a summer study committee in the summer fall. And you know, this is very timely for Muncie because um, Viralia has just been acquired by a foreign company that produces glass. Representative They're Arrington, I'm sorry, but we're out of time, oh. but thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. All right, thank you. I'm Leslie Weidenbenner with Comcast Newsmakers. <laughs>